He's back. El Paso Locomotive FC goalkeeper Logan Ketterer, who made his MLS debut last month with the Portland Timbers, on loan from El Paso, of course, has returned to the club. This coming after an impressive three starts with Portland and fulfilling a lifelong dream. He was selected 71st overall in the 2017 MLS Super Draft, but never really got his shot in the MLS until now. Ketterer starting in three games with Portland and produced two clean sheets. Timbers going two and one in those three starts. A great opportunity for Ketterer, but now that he's back in El Paso, the focus shifts to helping Locomotive lift trophies. I spent two years in Columbus and didn't really get that chance. And I knew I had to go play in USL for a while to hopefully get that chance again someday. So to have it come, come around and to, to, to have Mark let me go and take that chance and, and to be able to play and to have it go as well as it did, obviously, like I knew I was going to go in and play well. But things could not have gone much better. I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to, to, to get to play next week. And I want to win games, and we want to win championships. And that's, and that's what we're here to do. Now, Ketter won't start tomorrow against Austin. It'll be Adrian Zendejas, who is currently on loan from Minnesota United FC, making one last start for El Paso before he's expected to return to the Twin Cities. Speaking of Bold FC, a Copa Tejas match that Locomotive FC expects to get three points out of. We've got to be defensively astute, defensively focused, which we will be. Um, and when we get chances, which we will get chances, uh, Austin will provide us opportunities to score. We've got to make sure the guys we have on the field are taking them. That's our mentality always. You know, at the end, when you get a point, it's better than nothing, but always the mentality is to get three points. We know, we know it's a good team. Uh, and as you see, you know, every team is going to be difficult this year. Kickoff tomorrow night is at 7 p.m. This match will be streamed live on ESPN+.